It's kind of cool that you hit south. And it's southeast. Mm -hmm. Yes? I have a question. I'm sorry. Um, what I want to do, I want to keep taking questions, but I'm going to pose one for just a second so that I get answers to my question in my, in my question and answer period. And that is, what I've proposed to the city is that we would connect to a 12 inch water main literally right out here, or it under the freeway, get it down on Cotton Flat Road to, highway, to County Road 120, 12 inch all the way down there, 12 inch plant, water line. Then take 12 inch along 120, bring 12 inch up County Road 1206, and bore into the freeway here and connect over to the industrial neighborhood city water system. Unfortunately, you're gonna have, that's where the pipes are, you gotta go there. Um, it shouldn't have any impact on the water in the pipes. And then take eight inch laterals across each of the county roads in order to get water service into that neighborhood. That's my plan today. And the reason I'm going with that plan is because it's something that we could get in front of the appropriate agencies today. But once again, it has to be your desire. We can go find a nice, safe water supply somewhere. Is that a yeah? <laughs> okay. His question was, what's the turnaround time on that? Um, I've done the preliminary engineering in my office already. Um, I've approached. I've done a lot of, of grant writing with the federal EPA. I work for, for the American Water Works Association Research Foundation, which is how I got into doing a lot of the different types of research projects for the American Water Works Association. And we would go back to Congress every year and get grant money from EPA to conduct research projects for EPA at the American Water Works Association Research Foundation. So I, in Congress, they call it panhandling. I went back there and got money out of Congress to give to EPA to put a line item in the appropriations bill for EPA for that. I have proposed to your two US senators here in the state of Texas that we seek a federal grant from EPA to TCEQ and have TCEQ be the administrator of the funds to fund the construction of the infrastructure using the federal funds. And if we do that, we can, what I'm hoping and praying for, which is why I think it's so important that you answer these questions tonight and express your desire, is to attempt to get in on some of the stimulus money. And the fastest way to do that would be to get to federal EPA and then the agency, you know, federal money usually comes with a lot of strings attached to it. And we're not going to want all those strings attached to a project like this. So if it's appropriated to EPA with a line item that says it's appropriated to TCEQ for this project, it can get done pretty quickly. If they see the money coming, I would ask that we get an appropriation from somewhere and then refund it with the money when it comes in to get it done faster. Because in the long run, when we get you on the city water and get you on those filters, it's going to save TCEQ. There's, there's, you start balancing it out. And so they might find the dollars in their budget to do it if they know the money's coming from Congress. I'm going to do something that might be a little embarrassing. Staff people don't have to do anything. But I represented a sissy. Before the flyer was even printed up for this meeting, a letter was sent to every elected official, including the dog catcher in the county. And I don't mean in the county. Anybody that you vote for, I sent to the school board, I sent to the county, I sent to the city council, I sent to the senate, I sent to the assembly. Congress will only accept facts because they're afraid that I'm going to send poison dust in the envelope, so they, they took facts as a Congress. Um, K. Bailey Hutchinson called and apologized and said, you know, she'll be in Congress in session. She supports the idea of a, a, a super fund appropriation, and, and she was very grateful and thankful that we were involved. So K. Bailey's engaged. She, she knows we're here tonight. She apologized she couldn't make it. Um, her staff was very cordial. So my question, not to put anybody on the spot, but you're the ones who put your names on the ballot. Any electeds want to represent themselves? You're not elected. <laughs> Congressman Conway. Yeah. And we're going to need we're going to need bipartisan support. This is the type of problem that it should be across the board. It should be across the board. Um, I, I asked, is there any electeds? I will tell you, your county commissioner is in budget hearings, and he said they were pre-scheduled. If he gets out of the budget hearings, he said he was gonna hightail it over here. Um, he's engaged, whether he wants to be or not. She engaged him today. 
He's trying to make a drink of green water, so he's either going to be engaged or he's going to get killed with some girls <laughs> in the water. Um, so, uh, I know they're watching what's going on. I'm disappointed that none of them show. And I represent to you, on, on my letterhead, those letters went out, and every elected official was invited here tonight. So if they're choosing not to come, here's where I make my plea to you. I need you people again. You need to get on the phones tomorrow, and you need to piss them off. Okay? If I can go get paid here, You need, you need to engage those folks, because because in, in and, and I can say things like that because because it's my my fatal flaw in life. But what, what I want what I want you to do is is I want you to get them engaged. Tell them we were at this meeting last night. It's amazing what we've commu the community's accomplished in the last three to three to four weeks because you've actually come together. You're talking. You're engaged with with DEQ. They're helping. They're doing what they can. We're helping you. You're helping with your own resources. A lot of a lot of good's happened here. Now the polluter needs to step up to the plate because he knows who he is, and he needs to engage. Go online tonight. Slumberjay's got a lot of money. They know they did this, and they know how bad Chrome Six is. I guarantee Slumberjay has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on toxicologists. Wonder why? You don't need toxicologists in an oil field. Slumberger has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on toxicologists. So what you need to do is you need to get to your elected officials and you need to tell them, support getting an alternative water supply into the Codwood neighborhood yesterday. If we could get their approval, we could have that under construction. What's gonna take the longest is get, and I was surprised. I've done bore jacks under freeways and they usually take six months just to get the engineering permits. Texas boy, they just jack and bore under the freeway. I talked, like I said, I talked to the city of Midland. He was like, I get that done in three weeks. So I'm like, okay. Um, I don't know how hard, where we were, we were proposing what they call a design build project, where you literally, you, you pretty much just shoot down the street line down the road, you put the pipe in, and as you're doing it, you engineer as you go along so that you can get it done faster in a design build fashion. Where he was a little skeptical of that is, and you all know this better than I do, when you dig out here, you go, 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 and then you hit a big old rock. <laughs> and then you go. It's a little hard to bid a, a project where you're going to put pipeline in the ground when you have that problem. So I, I'm sharing with you what, what I know. And, and so this is underway, and it's being figured out, but I needed to hear from you tonight that you want to pursue that. Green. Did you have a question? Yep. You were standing up earlier, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. If the if the money were from when the from when the money's available and all the administrative bodies give approval, realistically, and I'm going to be a, a, an extreme optimist on your behalf because I believe that with the strength and power of this community, we can get it done. Physically, it's possible to have that water in and at your taps in six months. The only thing stopping us is politicians and money. That's true. <laughs> okay? The, the good news is, is this is a multi-million dollar project. It is a multi-million dollar project. That's just the facts. But you have a will to get it done. That's number one. You have a will to get it done. If, if you had done this to yourselves, they wouldn't be as receptive to doing this for you. But you're victims with a capital V. And they need to know that and they need to understand that. At the end of the day, this is once again, and it's a respectful disagreement with the state, and they have due process. I don't have to do due process. I know who did it, and I'm going to tell you who did. They have to, they are a state agency, and they have to be more responsible.